welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video all about the Paco Rabanne Olympia perfume range. If you're new here then welcome to my channel, it's all about perfumes. I do perfume reviews every week so let me know your requests in the comments down below and do subscribe if you're a perfume fan like me. So Paco Rabanne's Olympia has not been out for that long, a few years, um, and there are six different ways that you can get this perfume, six different versions, so I'll take you through all of them. Essentially, Paco Rabanne tend to, tend to make these quite strong and quite blingy perfumes. So if you think about the Million perfumes, um, particularly the men's, like very intense and strong, and they then release these Olympia perfumes for women and then Invictus for men and they kind of have a sort of Greek Olympian theme to them so all the advertising they're sort of athletic and wearing a sort of ancient Greek type clothing but then sometimes in the marketing it kind of looks a bit like Mad Max and I associate them more with that in my head from a marketing point of view because they all have a kind of sandy salty feel to them so they remind me of the desert so let's go through them so original Eau de Parfum Olympia basically has three primary ingredients. So vanilla, salt, saltiness, and jasmine. And it has a couple of other ingredients, but those are the three that you can really smell, particularly the vanilla, a salty vanilla, almost like salted caramel smell. And then this jasmine that make it very feminine. You really can smell this on people. When I've worn it, when I've known people to wear it, you can smell it, people ask, what are you wearing? So it is one of those perfumes. It is good for lasting and quite strong. It feels quite warm and I probably associate this with winter more than summer. And one thing I really associate this with is like um, bars, nightclubs. I think people often wear this on a night out and it does stand out against other people's perfumes when you're in close proximity like that in a club. The only sort of downside to this and the whole range, I really don't particularly like the bottle. Um, it's definitely innovative and different, but I don't know, there's just, I don't really want my perfume to look like a trophy. Like, I, I don't associate sport with perfume um, in the Olympics with perfume. I, I find that that odd. I wish they'd made it more like Greek goddessy or something. Um, but there you go, it, it doesn't affect the smell. Now, even though it's good for lasting, you can get it in an even stronger version, which is the extract of Olympia. This is basically much stronger, heavier, like, and more intense. So if you really want to smell of it, go for this. You don't need to put as much on compared to the Eau de Parfum. And it's definitely for someone that wants everyone to smell their perfume. There is also an intense version. Now this is a slightly different smell. So you've got the salty vanilla, but the jasmine is gone and replaced with amber, which just does change the smell of the perfume a fair bit because it was that white floral jasmine that was making it feel quite pretty and obviously feminine scent whereas now vanilla amber that could be a male scent so it's much more warmer deeper a bit more earthy a bit more serious so if you just want to forget about the jasmine and just have like a really intense vanilla-y salty earthiness then the intense one is definitely better for you. They have then released Olympia Aqua. Now this is a much fresher version. Again, that salty vanilla is the main note, but there is a fresh aquaticness to this. There's lime, orange, citrusiness. There's also ginger, which really comes through. So if you like the idea of the Olympia scent, but you find it too vanilla, too heavy, then the aqua one is a way to get it, but with a freshness. So it sometimes with these heavy vanillas, if you're wearing it for a long time, you can start to feel a bit sickly. It can be a bit much. So the aqua, and that's probably why they brought this out to sort of dumb it down and make it a little bit more um i guess tolerable for people that don't want that intense vanilla the compromise of course is that because it's not as strong it doesn't last as long so it doesn't have that intense signature and um, lasting power of the original they've also brought out uh, olympia aqua um 
Eau de Parfum Legere, which I'm not sure was entirely necessary. It's quite similar to Aqua, but it has a sort of warm oranginess to it, solary warmthness, and the jasmine is um, more dominant. So it's a bit warm, a bit more feminine. It's not as fresh as the original Aqua. It's more like a warmer version. So I guess it's in between Aqua and the original Eau de Parfum in terms of um, its sort of warmth and vanillariness. So it's kind of like a bit of a compromise. I think they might have discontinued this though, um, but I will leave it linked down below if I can find it. And then lastly, we have Olympia Legend, which is the most recent addition to the range and is probably my personal favorite because along with that vanilla, we have plum and apricot as well as tonka bean. So some of my favorite fragrance notes there. So I think this makes this the scent more complicated and more interesting and I believe that this has been quite successful launch for them and um, people are liking this even more than the original. So you've got that good lasting power of the vanilla but then I think this is a, like a classier smell because it's more complicated, it's interesting, it has that fruity plum and I always find tonka bean really makes the perfume quite classy. They've also taken out the jasmine which I quite like because I'm not a huge jasmine fan. So it's more a plummy vanilla so definitely up my street and my favourite from the range. You can also get accompanying body products if you really want to layer on the scent but overall these are perfumes for vanilla lovers and people that do want something that's going to stand out and someone that wants a little trophy on their dressing table. <laughs> So I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you have any of these, which is your favorite, what do you think of the range? But that's it guys, so thanks so much for watching. Do subscribe if you're not already. I'd love to have you here and I'll see you again in the next video. But bye for now.